Okay, hey, so I'm going to be um, showing you guys uh, how to deal with Sentinel and just generally... Gen mostly it's just going to be about Sentinel, but it's also going to be to do with spam characters. But I'm just really going to be talking about Sentinel, really. Um, the, the reason why I do this is because I know there's a lot of decent players out there and they do have a hard time against Sentinel. And to be honest, Sentinel has really got so many flaws with his as a character himself that you can really get around him. And I'm surprised that some people don't really know about this yet or they're just having a hard time... Uh, just trying to fight the, the freaking giant oversized dick looking thing. Um, so yeah, as, as, this, as this video is going to go, it's probably going to be about two video, two three videos long. Um, I'm going to be showing you pretty much basic tactics to get over to Sentinel, how you can punish him, what works against him, what doesn't, and then I'll just show you like over, how, how you can do it with every single character as well. I mean, I'll do that as well. Um, okay. Okay, so what we have here is your typical decent team, uh, Trish, Wester and Dante. That's my team right there, Team Black Mafia. Um, and on the right is your typical Xbox Live uh, players, you know, the ones that don't know how to play the game, but they'll pick all the ridiculously safe spam characters, uh, you know, Sentinel, uh, Magneto and Iron Man. Even though I do like Iron Man and Magneto, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're pretty good characters. Yeah, but you know, Sentinel, the whole point of Sentinel is that he's a spam, spam, safe, spam, heavy, whatever you want to call it, character, who's just ridiculously powerful in this game, especially when you've got the X-Factor on, then, you know, you've probably got. So, let's get Sentinel back out, and, yeah, let's get started on this. Now, what I have here mapped on my stick are two buttons specifically for, um, Record the input and then one for playback and loop it, which means it's just going to constantly do it over and over again until um, I'm done. Like I can press the button again, it'll stop, and then it will, or it will, um, or if I press start. But yeah, let's um, let's get some uh, spam going, yeah. There you go. Whoops, maybe a bit too much. So if I press this button now. Now I'm going to be stuck with, you know, spam, spam Sentinel first. And now I'm just going to, as you can see, I'm just going to be training against this kind of uh, spam heavy kind of character. See, I mean, th this is why people get stuck, because they're not too sure what to do, so let's uh, stop this for a sec. Oh, I thought I changed that. Okay, I got my inputs under the bottom as well. That's good. <laughs> now let's. Uh, I'll show you the kind of the kind of how good the spam is in this. It's pretty ridiculous and pretty rewarding for the guy who's actually spamming if he actually manages to hit. <laughs> look at look at I me. Mean, look at the damage of that. It's it's pretty crazy, you know, and it's insanely safe. I mean, look, look, see, that, that's pretty insane. You've got to understand, that's why people find this incredibly annoying. Just because Sentinel is just so safe um, on his attacks, as well as if you've got the assist helping, like uh, Magneto and Iron Man, you know, that can be annoying. Now, I'm going to show you a few ways you can get over in terms of jumping. Um, some characters like Arthur, he doesn't have a double jump or a air dash or the ability to fly, so this is going to be hard. Um, for someone like Arthur, but that's why I guess you shouldn't use Arthur against him, you're going to have to try and take out Sentinel or someone else, and it's impossible to have a team that isn't able to hover or something, at least one doing a super jump and hovering, so you can have like Arthur, Modoc and maybe Trish, I don't know, whatever. Um, so Trish is a good character to demonstrate because she's got everything that everyone can use in the game. Um, by that I mean she's got, this is her normal jump, she's got a super jump, and she's got a double jump or air dash, which is actually eight-way dash. So it's actually the best da air dash in the game. Um, and she can also fly. Uh, whether people naturally know about that, well, she can fly for a bit. She's got less time than people like Modok or Sentinel in the air. But you know, it's it's still a. She's got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, flexibility. But there's um. For Trish and pretty much the majority of the cast, there is a maneuver you can do which is called the super jump. And what this requires you to do is to hold down for a quick, uh, for a fraction of a second and flick it upwards. If you hold it down for too long and then press up, she won't. She'll just do her normal jump. If you do 
down the flick upwards, you can see the extreme height that the character can go. And this isn't just for Trish. I mean, for, so from full screen, you know, you can get, you can jump all the way to them. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good jump that not many people seem to use. So, I mean, if I keep holding, uh, keep holding left or keep holding right to jump over to Sentinel. You know, you get some serious jump, and because I'm Trish, I can actually um, air dash as well, just in case I don't think I'm going to make it. Or just, you know, confuse them like that. Um, or you can just fire over again, it's just what makes Trish like one of the best characters in the game, because <laughs> she can just be so difficult in the air. Um, this is, like I said, it's not just for Trish, it's also for Dante and pretty much everyone else in the game. It's, they've all got their super jumps like that. Got Sentinel set up now, so I'm going to put payback on and I'm going to show you how you can get around with these um, super jumps. Oh, I messed up slightly there, but you mean... You, you're stuck here in the corner, do a super jump, fly over. Send him down for a punish. Stop crouching low, super jump, double dash, fly down. Go in for the punish. Now let's uh, stop playback and we'll try it with someone else like uh, Wesker. So restart and go to Wesker. And we'll put playback on. Do an air dash. You get the idea. Now let's try it with someone like Dante. So this time I'm actually going to do a bit more, something a bit more interesting with Dante. I'm actually going to pretend like I'm in a fight against Sentinel. So this is, so I'm really just being impatient now, just trying to get into him. And, and you can see I'm really paying the price. Being too impatient, and I'm not uh, taking in any of the, um, anything I've learned. So I mean that that's a big problem there. You see, Sentinel just rips through Dante, even even though he's already taken the hit because Hyper Sentinel Force isn't to do with Sentinel himself. He's sending in his drones, and even if you stop Sentinel, they'll still carry on because they're not Sentinel firing them himself. So I'll put that back on again. Jumping just got totally messed, screwed over there. I was being impatient. Do a super jump. You know, stop punishing like that. 